this is two nights in a row you guys kind of got beat down at home. Would you prefer this locker room to be a little more somber? I mean, it's pretty light in here tonight. What you mean by light? I mean, everyone's laughing, kind of having a good time. Kind of surprising when you lose two games in a row like you did tonight. I mean, I can't, you know, you can't control um, how guys' emotions feel. I mean, sometimes you don't, you know, you want to go out there and have fun. Obviously, um, these losses have been heartbreaking, but, um, you know, everyone just reacts to things, to games differently, you know, win or loss. So, uh, you know, you can't, you know, finger out one, one guy in particular. You just got to all, when it comes down to the next game, that everyone just be ready. Coach, there was a point in the second quarter where you guys were up around 14 points, 16. I believe. 16 points. Um, and you committed four fouls in a matter of 30 seconds, and mm -hmm. it seemed like the team lost their resolve. How do you get this team more resilient to fight back from those situations? Well, we're, 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 we're a young, growing team. And understand how to move your feet, not foul. I don't think these guys are out there intentionally trying to foul. They're not trying to foul. You know, it's going to be a process, man. We got to, it's a process with our team to get them to become good, complete basketball players. You know, a lot of them not complete yet. And uh, we got to keep working and growing them into those situations. You know, uh, there'll be times in the future we're up 16, we'll no ball control. Every time we're up 16, we're now we don't need a quick shot. We'll go to a post-up game. Uh, we'll go to a situation where we have a hot guy, and now that guy can take his time and force the defense to make, an, to make a decision. That's going to be a process for us. And so I'm looking forward to when that all can happen for our team. The more and more I like, the more and more we get more mature and, and knowing different type of situations, we'll become a better team. There's been a lot of games that we've been in. We've played well. Like today in the first half, we played well. But there, like you said, a four or five minute stretch where we don't play too well. Either we have turnovers, we have quick shots that lead to easy transition for the other team. We just, we got to get better. And we got to get better as soon as possible at on the little things. It's not nothing really big that we can't get better at. It's just little things that we can't control. Can you describe what's going on defensively today? Um, we played, I mean, they were scoring, we were scoring. We wanted to get up and down. They made some tough bats the first half, but that third quarter kind of opened it up. They have 40 points in the third quarter, and you're not going to win a game if you give up 40 points. And then Rodney Stuckey went off, and we we got to know when guys are going off. We got to we got to stop a guy as a team, not just depend on one guy to stop him. We got to come together as a team and figure out how to slow the guy down. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he, we got to talk, you know, defense. You know, it's time that we should have switched, and we haven't. Uh, just communication. You know, when we do talk, I think that's where they're at best. So, you know, just got to do more talking on defense. Tari, can you talk about the defensive scheme, I guess, for you? You could say like you're switching back and forth on Tayshon and that stuff. I mean, yeah, that's where we, I mean, when we switch, you know, uh, we all switch it with Coach said, one through four, you know, when they're in the game. So, you know, when they run the pick and roll, they're just switching. You know. We got to you know, do a better job of the holding them in, you know, on defense. That's it. Coach, I'm not questioning mm -hmm. your decision making on the floor, but yeah. was there a specific reason why Hickson, Outlaw, mm -hmm. and Green didn't play while Tayshawn Prince was getting off on you guys? Well, Tayshawn was making some jump shots. You know, he was out on the floor making jump shots. Hickson has not played. He, you know, the guy was out for a while. Now, granted, he could have been ready to go, but he's, in my opinion, I think he probably wasn't ready to play. He couldn't guard Tayshawn. You know, Tayshawn was having a great night right there. You know, it wasn't so much of stopping the one guy. It wasn't just that penetration. You know, we did some things. Uh, with Tayshawn um, that, that really disrupted him a little bit, you know. But having a guy like him making his long jump shot, there's nothing you can do. Guy made a few jump shots that, you know, normally you don't make, but he made those, you know. So um, this is how I wanted to go with the group. I thought the group did a good job to stay with it. Uh, we're playing catch up. Um, you know, I didn't think those guys was going to be able to uh, guard a, a Tayshawn Prince. That's the, his, he's a different character right now.